Hey guys! Okay, so I know it's been a really long time, um, but, uh, yeah. So, <sighs> I did some shopping, I did some online shopping, and some Hobby Lobby, and Joanne shopping. So I wanted to show you that, plus I wanted to show you my newest addiction, um, and some of, like, the stuff that I've been working on. So, um, I have purchased some things from online, like I said, and then from in the store. So, let's just jump into it. Uh, the first thing I got was the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pin Brush, and this one is in the Deep Scarlet Red. I actually got this off of eBay for a couple of dollars, so I picked up that. Today I picked up the Faber-Castell Gelatos. I picked up uh, the black and the white. And do you see the clearance price? Heck yeah! Uh, today I also picked up this um, Mini Butterflies stencil. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But I mainly picked it up for this because I'm getting ready to work on something. And that's going to go perfect with it. So I picked up that. Um, I also picked up at, oh, I got these two things at Hobby Lobby, plus this, look, I'm so excited, it's the printery paper, I've never had it, and so I picked that up, they've also got, um, Almanac, and London Market, and I don't know, a couple others, um, that they didn't put out yet, but I'm going to pick those up. Um, over the weekend because they said they were going to put them out over the weekend. Um, and then on Peachy Cheap, um, a while back, I don't know. Okay, I've never ordered from Peachy Cheap before, but these took almost two weeks to get to me. So I don't know that I'm going to order with them again, but it was one of their daily things. Like the three of these for $7.99, and these are the My Mind's Eye stamps. Uh, these are Happy Days. And when I seen these, I thought, oh, these are going to be perfect for my new addiction. So I am so, so excited to try these out, especially these. I think these are going to be so awesome. Um, and this, this too. I think that will really be cool. This one is everyday, every, everyday fun. I'm excited about this. Oh, I'm excited about these little stitches in this banner. These here. And then this one is Miss Caroline. And I'm excited about every single... Well, except for that. I could take that or leave it. But other than that, I'm excited about every single one of these stamps. Look, the dominoes and all of these. And the numbers. And look at these tickets. How cute. Whoops. Oops, sorry. So, yeah. So then I also picked up this week, um, Gesso. So, mm, are you guys picking up what I'm currently into? <laughs> and then also on, um, oh my gosh. So I'm totally, totally, totally addicted to some Facebook groups where people are selling their stuff. <laughs> and so on one of the Facebook groups, I picked up these pads of paper and I'm so stinking excited. This is the Melissa Francis, what is it, Say La Vie. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I've never had it before. And then I also picked up Attic Treasures. I think this was D Stash Your Crafts. I think. And I'm also so, so, so loving uh, Scrapyard. I just placed a couple of orders on there. So yeah. So let me get these out of the way. Oh my gosh. These came in today. Like I said, took almost like two stinking weeks. But they finally came in. So I'm so, so excited to play with those. As soon as I opened them, I was like, ideas. Okay, guys. Whew. Let's tone it down a minute here. I know. I'm super excited. A little crazy. I don't think I need that. Okay. At Hobby Lobby, a few, well, actually, like a week ago. This is what I purchased. Yeah! So now you get it. Why the gesso and the 
gelatos in the pin. Yeah, I am doing mixed media. Holy cow. Let me bring this up a little bit, you guys. Don't mind my desk because it's a mixed media mess. <laughs> but yeah, I purchased one of these and this is the five and a five yeah, five by eight. And it was seventy nine seven ninety nine. Oh my god, Gina. <sighs> Be calm with your bad self. It was seven ninety nine, but I used a coupon. So this is one of the ones that's got this bubbly I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. But I was kind of afraid. I'm not going to lie. I've been a little afraid of the mixed media just because I tend to obsess over making everything kind of perfect. And like I think, well, it's got to go here and it's only got to go there. So mixed media, I'm not going to lie. It scares me. So my first thought was my first page has to be a message to myself. And so, this is what I did. Stay calm and carry on. That is my message to myself for this, for this book, for this kind of mixed media stuff. I just need to be calm and I just need to keep going. They always say there's no boo-boos in mixed media. Everything is supposed to be the way it's supposed to be. So I just have to remind myself. So, this is my first one. And basically all I did was I took a couple of different blue color paints and some white and I mixed it all around and painted all over it and I added these um, chipboard letters and I painted on them and then I took um, a white um, paint pen and I just kind of drew all around them. And then, of course, when I show Hubby, he's like, you do realize that there's supposed to be a D there, it's supposed to be and... Like, yeah, well, they say there's no mistakes in mixed media, so hush. <laughs> okay, so then after that, my second one is this one. And I was just so, so, so excited to use this stamp. I got a Delusion stamp, and she's awesome. And I need to finish putting the other little blings here. I totally forgot, but I put little rhinestones in her hair. And I colored her up, her outfit and everything. I colored with um, my pro markers. And it says she lives in color. And I also, for the background, used my um, the Radiant Rain daubers that I got from the scrapbooking expo thing I went to. And so yeah, this is my second entry into it. and. I just love her. I think she is so cute. I love, love, love the stamp. I can't wait to do more with it and get some more. And also the drippage, which I know the drippage is like a really big thing, but I don't know that I'm a big fan of the drippage, but I used my Distress Ink and Peacock Feathers, and that's what I did there. Then last night, you guys, oh my gosh, I was like watching some Facebook, or watching, yeah, I was watching Facebook. I was on Facebook, and this just sort of hit me. It was like inspiration. <gasps> oh my god, is it not the cutest? I am absolutely beyond words in love with this. It says, take these broken wings and learn to fly. My favorite song, my favorite lyrics... And I just, I've got stamping going on in the background. I used my um, pin here for the hearts and underneath the words. Um, this is actually my Dilution stamp. I've got all kinds of other stamping going on in there. I've got um, some stickles on the wings. I've got some light stamping going on, some script, um, some of this from the a Tim Holtz stamp. I just, oh, and I also took a black soot and I did the edge there. So I just, this is my favorite one. I love this, love this, love this. And I think it is so cute. And like I said, it's my favorite little verse from one of my favorite songs. And I don't know, I just, I really, really like it. So, okay. 
those are my projects. Those are the things that I bought. And now I'm going to get off here because another idea hit me today and I'm ready to play. So, see you guys later.